Welcome to part three of this video series, How to Use Splashtop to Enhance Your Presentations. This is part three, which will deal with which Splashtop iPad apps you need to download and how to correctly sync them with your desktop computer. I've got a program here that allows me to take a video of my iPad screen. So as you can see, I can, I can use the iPad but still be taking the video with my computer. First step in when you've got your iPad out is to go to the App Store and while it's loading I've put in a search for Splashtop so the Splashtop apps will come up you can see the search is up here in the corner and hit search here we go now I have already purchased two of the Splashtop apps the first is the Splashtop remote desktop this is a five dollar app that allows you to completely control everything that your desktop computer is doing from your iPad or other tablet. I'm going to go ahead and install this app. And it will download to my iPad. I'm going to go back while that's loading and go ahead and install the other app that I have. Go back to the store. And here the other app is called Splashtop Whiteboard. And the benefit of getting Splashtop Whiteboard, even though it does cost about 15 bucks, here I'll click on it now. The benefit of getting Splashtop Whiteboard is while you are controlling your computer, it has all the benefits of the remote desktop app. It also gives you the option to turn on an annotation mode by which you can do callouts. See these uh, the blue that's been written on this screen here. That's been made while somebody was giving a presentation. They turned on Splashtop and made an annotation over that. You can also spotlight certain parts of a screen there's just a bunch of different ways that it really enhances your ability to give a presentation. Again, we'll be demonstrating all of the whiteboard and remote desktop apps in a later video, but for now I'm just going to go ahead and install this one as well. So click on the install button and it will install next to the remote desktop. The final step in this video is to correctly synchronize your iPad and your desktop computer. So just like in the last video, I'm going to have you make sure that your computer is correctly running Splashtop. Go to the taskbar and click on the pop-up there. And if you hover over it, it does say that Splashtop Streamer is running. So make sure you do that on your computer first. Then back on your iPad, you'll click on the Splashtop Remote Desktop app. And go through the configuration steps click on go and then create your security password that's what you did in the last video with the Splashtop streamer click continue and click finish you can choose whether or not you'd like to improve Splashtop remote and here I've got my video editing computer coming up as within range and has Splashtop streamer currently running so I'm going to click on it and enter the security code that I created in the last video. Remember that security code is going to have at least one number and one letter and be eight characters long. Okay, and when you open it up for the first time and until you uncheck the show hints every time box, these hints and gesture hints will come up every time. It kind of gives you a reminder that one finger will be the left cursor click hold down would be a right click if you do two fingers the tap like if you were in trackpad mode and you can see the other hints there go ahead and check them out and try them out click on continue and I get this strange never-ending window because I'm taking a video of my screen but then the screen is also being displayed on my iPad so you won't probably have this strange never-ending screen but it does create a interesting illusion so pretend I'll go ahead and uh, go to the desktop function of my computer and now Splashtop is controlling the computer. So I'll click on the uh, 
the pop-up keyboard. You should be able to see that in the bottom corner of your iPad. Click on the pop-up keyboard button and a keyboard will pop up and you could go ahead and enter whatever information you'd like. I am now controlling, you can see the mouse cursor moving around. I'm doing all the controlling from the iPad. Pull up the slideshow program that I've been using. You can see there's the introductory slide that I used and I'm doing all of this again from the iPad moving the cursor around so basically you can just go in and control everything that you need to from this iPad app and it works exceptionally well I have not run into any issues other than occasionally a about one second time delay if you have a, a slow internet connection you may have a short time delay but other than that Splash Top Remote Desktop and Splash Top Whiteboard work very well. Alright, I will be happy to show you more in our next video. Please come back and watch part 4, which will be how to use the Splash Top Whiteboard Toolbar.